In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your sewing machine to sew the hugs. We won't do a test piece before we begin, as we just finished the hood. Now I find the hugs are where you can find a little bit of slippage, so if you need to go slower at this step, don't feel bad. Readjust as you need. Now, as you see, this one, we don't have a stitch line. Just try to keep it consistent, whatever you do. I'm giving myself about half an inch here. Readjust and tuck those hairs in. Looks good. I overshot a little at the edges, but overall very consistent. For the hugs, we won't be cutting the corners. Let's just cut the threads. Repeat this process on the other hug. Oh yeah, you can see my second one was a little bit more even. going to fold the fur on itself. So this will be the bottom of the hug. It's nice we have these lines we can match up. I would skip ahead and line these guys up so that they match and then go back and find the center. So keep tension even and keep your lines even. We'll do that all the way up the hug. You're gonna get to this circle that we've drawn out there. You could fit two pins in, so we're just gonna skip ahead. Pin that all the way to the edge. This will be where we stop our stitch length. So let's put another one in there. If you feel like you're more comfortable with putting extra pins in there, go ahead. We'll do that to the other side. Also, if you're more comfortable, we can put a stay pin in there. Repeat the same pinning technique on the second hug. Start by folding the end in on itself. Take time to tuck the fur inside all the length of the hugs. My tip for getting really even, even folds right there is to make sure these two line up. So once they line up, I put my pin through the top, through the back side and up through the top again. Same pinning technique we've been using the whole time.
Now the hug is ready to finish up. Let's put one pin in the bottom here. We're really going to reinforce this bottom stitch. So you can do that by making the length of the stitch a couple times, or what I like to do is, is I decrease the length of my stitch to make it a little bit stronger. So right now we're at about like three and a half ish. I'm gonna crank that down to two. Starting the exact same, except for, I like to shoot a little past the start of the edge of the fur this time. Then drop the foot, hold the threads. Now instead of going forward, I start in reverse, and then when I do the whole stitch, I've already done it twice. So I'm not starting from scratch, trying to jump up a hill, back stitch, and then go forward and then have that stitched about four times, because that's not necessary. So we're gonna start here, back stitch, forward stitch. So about five stitches this time because we've decreased the stitch length. You can see the machine is going quite a bit slower now that we've got a smaller stitch, but that's what we've asked for, so just be patient. Needle down, I stopped about a half inch out because we're gonna change direction. So have your needle down, pivot, drop it back down. Here I like to do a little back stitch and forward stitch in that same stitch length. Needle down and I can switch this back to about three and a half where we had it before because we're going back to the length of the hugs. You can risk sewing over the pins like I just did which is risky to your machine, or I suggest removing them as you approach them. Always drop your needle down to hold your place. Now pause. Now we're gonna make a little bit of a jump here. And again, we're not pushing and pulling, we're just guiding. You can hear it sounded like a little bit of resistance, but nothing broke. Carry on. to that last pin. I'm gonna go up to where the pin was, needle down, back stitch, one, two, three, four. We can do a little bit of more length here. There's gonna be some tension on this stitch, so I don't mind going a little bit deeper. Looks good, both sides, very even. Checking this out, yeah, looks good. Now, if you're worried about tension, you can do another stitch there, but really you can see how small these stitches are, like they're just as big as this weave is. That should totally be fine. Finishing the hug the same way, wiggle the end in, pass the foot, readjust so it's flat and even, lower the foot, customize the stitch length to two, lower the needle, secure your position and hold onto the threads before you get started. Pin. 
seam looks great. How about the other side? Oh yeah, you can see it went all the way through. I can't wait to turn the hugs right side out.